Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so first and foremost, may the Lord Christ bless this video, bless you and I. And second is I've got a black marker, red marker, red marker, black marker. These are markers, not pens. Um, and um, yeah, a few of you asked me if I could make videos on combinatorics. And one big important idea in combinatorics is combinations and choose K. So here we commence our lessons on combinatorics. And I will provide you at least one additional example, example one, where I show you how to apply uh, combinations and choose K, yeah? But let's first define them and get a feel for them in this video, yeah? Okay, cool. So, what is and choose K? By the way, and choose K is also denoted like this, and I frequently prefer this latter uh, denotion, which is like this, yeah? And it's read as red, just kidding, I know how to spell. Um, red, I went to college and stuff. Uh, red as Red as, I mean, you don't have to go to college to uh, know how to spell it. Red as, uh, and choose, okay. There are people who didn't go to college who are smarter than me, and um, also like know how to spell better than me and write better than me. Okay, anyway, anyway, um, it's red as, and choose K, and what it does is this. It counts, counts the number of ways and of course implicit in this is the number of different ways right and so the number of ways to choose k items at a time from n items and I'm not being vague when I call them items because it could be markers as I'll uh, demonstrate shortly or it could be dots as you'll see in example one. But basically all it does is like, let's say you have like, you know, 20 of something um, and you want to choose like five at a time. Well, like there are different combinations of five at a time that you can choose from 20, right? So what n choose k does is it counts the number of uh, different ways to choose five at a time from 20 and the example of 20 choose five. And I'll, I'll like give you the formula and like we'll count and stuff. Uh, but um, yeah, first uh, let's uh, do this by definition, right? By definition, um, it must be true that uh, k is at most equal to n and at least zero, right? And on this note, while we're at it, let's uh, write these two important uh, results down, which is n choose 0 is equal to 1. Because there's only one way to choose nothing out of n things, right? Which is, you don't choose any of them. There's only one way to choose 0 things from n things, and that's to choose none of them, right? And so that's 1. Also, uh, as you can imagine, n choose n uh, is also 1. And that's because the number of ways to choose n items at a time from n things is one. You choose all of them, right? Okay, okay. And perhaps we'll dedicate a video to this uh, other result, but it also turns out that n choose um, k is the same as um, n choose n minus k. And so, for example, we're saying here, ah, uh, I don't like my writing. We're saying here that like um, seven choose three 7 choose 3 is equal to uh, 7 choose 4. And it makes intuitive sense because, um, because uh, if you're choosing 3 at a time from 7 items, well, you're automatically choosing 4 items at a time in the 4 that you're leaving behind. So that's why this is true. Uh, and I don't know that it merits a different video because, yeah, like uh, I hope you get it. And if not, then ask questions in the comments section and I'll be happy to help you. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so uh, with these preliminary definitions out of the way, let's actually, like, you know, like, um, uh, get more examples, more concrete examples, yeah? Okay, so suppose that what I wanna choose is um, two markers at a time from three markers, and my three markers of choice are red marker, not pen, red marker, black marker, and blue marker. So I have three of these, and I wanna choose two at a time. And so um, first, uh, this is what we could do, right? So I have three of these guys. I can choose two at a time, right? I can choose red. Let me do that more visibly. I can choose red marker and then black marker, right? Or I could choose red marker and uh, 
blue marker, right? And what's the only choice, um, what's the only combination I haven't done? The only combination I haven't done is uh, black marker and, and um, blue marker, right? And so, and so you see that there are three ways to choose two at a time from three items, right? Um, and notice the order doesn't matter. I didn't list like uh, blue marker and black marker as a new separate uh, addition, right? Like this bl black marker and blue marker is the same as uh, blue marker and black marker. That is order doesn't matter. You're just trying to figure out how to pick two at a time from three things. And so what we'd say in this case, seeing the result is that like three choose two is equal to three. The number of ways to choose two at a time from three things is three, right there. Uh, at least with this example, right? Okay, okay, okay. Um, and and so 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 like let's use the formula. <laughs> okay, so the formula is this, which is n choose k, n choose k, uh, in either denotion, right? Is equal to it's equal to n factorial divided by k factorial times n minus k factorial. So uh, this comes up so frequently, including, you know, uh, prominently featuring in the binomial expansion formula and the like, um, that I would commit this to memory. It comes up frequently in probability also. And so if you're a high school student or a college student, this is really worth remembering, as opposed to, you know, some random, like, fact that you choose to remember uh, that I probably can't care less about, yeah? Okay, now, um, let's, let's use uh, the formula to see if, in fact, three choose two is three as we claim there, yeah? Okay, so is three choose two, three as we claim. So we'd write three choose two, or like this, three choose two, and either way the formula says n is three, so that would be three factorial, and then k is clearly um, two, so divided by two factorial times three minus two factorial. Ah, this blue marker. Uh, 3 minus 2 factorial, like that, right? Okay, so, so, so what, what did that be? That would be like, well, 3 factorial is 6, so it would be like 6 divided by, and this is 2, and that's 1, 1 factorial, which is the same as 1. So 6 divided by 2, and that, in fact, is 3. So obviously, like, you know, if the number of items you have is like a very small number, like, three things to choose from, then you could uh, just write them out and it's practical. But uh, if I wanted to know, like, you know, from like 120 mathematicians, uh, how many different ways there, there is to choose 11 of them, then I probably want to use uh, this formula, right? And so that's where it's handy.